These are the five skill moves that pro players won't tell you about in EAFC 24, given to you by a pro. Me! Before we jump into the skill moves, we're going to do some groundkeeping. Some things to make this tutorial as simple as possible. So for each skill, I'm going to tell you how to perform the skill. We're going to analyse an example, and then we're going to summarise each one and how to use it in the best way. To learn every skill I'm about to teach you, this is what we're going to do. Get in the arena. Make sure your favourite club is set to a team with five-star skills. So I always use PSG. And for every skill move I teach you, I want you to learn it in the arena first. This is the best way to do it. it means you get infinite practice without having to worry about losing games or getting it wrong. The first skill move is the ball roll drag. And you need a four-star skiller to perform this move. When I show you how to do this, we're going to be using the clock method, which I've used before on this channel. So the right stick is going to have 12, 3, 6, and 9. I think it's the easy way to remember it. So bear that in mind every time we're learning the skill here. So for the ball roll drag, you hold L1, and then you flick the right stick in two directions. So you can either go from 12 to 3, or 3 to 6, or six to nine, or nine to six, any two ways. But the main thing to note here is whatever way you start it is where the skill move is gonna start, and then the second flick of the right stick is where you're going to exit. So if you go from 12 to three, it's gonna push up to 12, and you're gonna exit at three. So I have the ball here with Messi, and I'm looking to create space in the box. You can see that I've gone up, then right, which is nine to 12 on the analog stick which means he started facing forward because the way I'm facing is nine. And then I've exited at 12, which means it's gone up to the right-hand side so then I can pass it inside the box. I decided not to pass this time. I dribble my way through and score. But none of that is possible without the turn. So let's watch it one more time. You can see how it creates space because it dummies the defender, sends him the wrong way, and then the space is open from there. So all I'm doing is holding L1 and flicking the right stick in two ways. And then the way that I ended it is the way he exits, which is exactly where I want. And looking at this second example with Bernardo Silva, this is something I want to note. This skill move is best performed by players that are quick and agile. If they've got good agility, they'll definitely pull it off better. So this time, we're a different way round. We're actually in another goal. We're facing the other way. And I try and turn to score here. I want to turn and face the goal. So on this one, I go from six to three because three is the way I want to exit. So I'm facing the goal. You can see I take it down and then out there. He can't get close to me and I get the shot off and score. The ball roll drag is best used in wide positions to come and bring back inside and create that space or in the middle if you're looking to face the goal and you're looking to turn towards goal. That's the best ways I would use it. And before we summarize the ball roll drag, I want to take you to the next level. This is for the guys that have mastered it. You think, you know what, Tom, I already know how to do this skill. There is another level to this and it is cancelling it. If you're unfamiliar with cancelling, it is holding L2 and R2 after you've performed the skill, which basically cancels the skill move. So if we're applying it to the ball roll drag, you're holding L1, flicking the right stick in two directions. And then as soon as you've done that, holding R2 and L2. And whatever way your left stick is facing is the way you're going to cancel the skill, which is where your next touch is going to go. So here we have the ball with Frank Ribery, and I go to do the turn, and I realize it's not really going to sell him. He's kind of read it. So what I do is actually cancel it facing forwards. Now, he's expecting me to turn around there. He bites with his left back, and I manage to get around him. It's the same outcome with this Bruno move as well. It, the cancel just makes it like stick to their feet a little bit better, and it is harder to learn but it's definitely worth it because you then get two skills in your arsenal. You can either do the skill, or if you think they're going to read it, you can quickly cancel it and turn the other way. You can see both of them are used in a similar way where they create space in and around the box. Let's summarize the ball roll drag. You need a four-star skiller to perform the move. It is best used with quick and agile players. We use it out wide to bring the ball inside or in the center to face the goal. And to take your game to the next level, cancel the skill move to trick your opponent. Skill move number two is the power shot cancel. You can do the power shot cancel with anyone, but it is best used with players that have the power shot plus play style. That was a lot of peas. The reason for this is it performs the power shot quicker. So the quicker you can do the power shot and cancel it, the quicker you're able to move. So I only ever use this with players that have the play style or the play style plus. And how we do this is very simple. You do a power shot, so L1, 
R1 circle. Then you aim your shot like normal because whenever you do a power shot, you need to aim it manually. And then just before the player is about to make connection with the ball, you let go of everything you've just pressed and ball roll. And to do the ball roll, you either do the right stick to nine or three, depending on what way you want to ball roll. So no other controls, just literally the right stick, either push it left or right. Let's take a look at where to use this in game. It's always best for me on the left or right hand side of the pitch. You can see here, I'm on the left with Messi and I've got the ball and I'm looking to come inside because I want to pass that ball to Kane, but I want to create space. So what I do is pretend to power shot. I power it up. I do what we said. And then just as I'm about to hit it, I ball roll and then pass it into Kane, which creates the space, play the extra pass and I score. I always recommend doing this from the left or right side of the pitch. I don't know why, but that's where I have the most success of it. This time on the right with Sam Kerr, you can see he defends and over commits to the power shot because he thinks I'm going to shoot and he's moved his defender all the way across. A simple ball roll just takes the defender completely out of the equation and it opens up that pass. I think you can start to understand what I'm trying to achieve here. The power shot makes the defender think you're going to shoot. They try and cover it and they try and get across to it and you just ball roll, and then you normally have a pass open, or you can keep dribbling. And the reason this one's so good is just to cancel it, you don't actually have to do all the L2 and R2 stuff. You can just cancel it by doing a ball roll. So it works for everyone. Let's summarize the power shot cancel. Firstly, it's my favorite skill move. You can perform it with anyone, but it's best used with players that have the power shot play style or power shot plus. We use it on the right or left side of the box to create space and to trick our opponent into thinking that we're shooting. And in most situations, it'll be best to pass after doing the ball roll because that's where the space will be. Skill move number three is the ball roll scoop turn. The ball roll scoop turn can only be performed by five star skillers. First thing you do is a ball roll. So you flick your right stick either to the left or right. And then to do a scoop turn, you either do square X or circle X. I think you have to do square X. I think any of you that do it with circle X are absolute mad men. Square X or circle X is basically a fake shot, but as you do it, you're rotating your left stick 180 degrees. So from 12 to six or three to nine, whatever way you're facing, you're rotating it 180 degrees. So the ball roll is one movement. You do that on its own. And then after that, the left stick and the square X movement is all at the same time. Let's look at how we use this in game. So I have the ball of Mbappe on the left hand side, five star skiller. I've got Adama Traore trying to catch me up. Now that is concerning. So because the way I'm facing, I ball roll by going nine to six on the right stick, which pushes it away from Adama. And then I perform the scoop turn and rotate my left stick from six to 12, which means he scoop turns upwards exactly where I wanted to go and it sold Adama a dummy. And in the next example, we do it twice with Ribery from this corner, just to show you how quick it is from getting away from your opponents. I get the ball from the corner, do one scoop turn. That's not enough. I want to get another ball roll scoop turn in. That one absolutely sends him to the shops. You can see the quick change direction because you ball roll away from where you're going and then you scoop turn back around. It's such a good way of changing direction. And the best bit of advice I can give is ball roll away from where you're then scoop turning. So you ball roll up and then scoop turn back around. You'll see when I do it with Ribery the second time exactly what I mean there. And this will be a difficult skill move to execute, so it might take some time to practice. Let's summarize the ball roll scoop turn. You can only do it with five star skiller. Ball roll away from where you're facing and then scoop turn the other direction. To do the scoop turn, make sure you rotate the left stick 180 degrees and use it just outside the box on the left and right side. Skill move number four is the half drag pass. Now I know that sounds weird, but stick with me. It is a flare nutmeg, but then you don't do the flare nutmeg. You press pass really quickly, and then it turns into a half drag back pass. So we call it the half drag pass. Now to do this skill move, you need a four star skiller or more. And to actually do the skill move, you hold L1 and R1 at the same time, and you flick the right stick to whatever direction you want to pass. But as soon as you've done that, you need to let go and press X and aim your pass with a left stick. So as soon as you've done the skill move, that is the flare nutmeg you've just done. As soon as you've done that, just press X because then it will cancel the flare nutmeg and it will half drag back and pass it instead. So just one more time to make sure we perfect it. L1, R1, flick, and as soon as you flicked, press X. As quick as that. I would say this skill move is the one that's being used by the pros the most right now. I wanna slow this one down in particular and break it down because this is the best use of it that I've seen. So with Kimmich, I have the ball, I'm looking for that space. And what I do is L1, R1, and because of where Mbappe is, I'm flicking the right analog stick to three. And then as soon as I've done that, I just cancel it by quickly pressing X. 
And you can see, man, it just cuts open the midfield. There is no passing lane there, and now there is. It breaks straight through that line, and we scored a goal from it. And when I say creating space out of nowhere, look at this Bernardo Silva pass. This pass to Harry Kane isn't even on. I don't know what it does. The defenders don't want to defend it, and it's so overpowered right now. Half drag back to Bernardo. I'm flicking the right stick, I'd say, actually, about four or five o'clock. Because of where Kane is, I'm somewhere between three and six. If we refer into the clocks, I'm between there. And as soon as I've done it, I've cancelled it again. And look at that. Just creates the space perfectly into Kane. And it's a free goal. That pass wasn't even on before I did it. So this skill move is definitely the one you want to be learning. Summary of the half drag pass. To do this skill, you need a four star skiller. It is actually a flare nutmeg that is cancelled by pressing X. As a result, your player will half drag back it and then pass it to the direction you have your right stick facing. This is best used in all areas of the pitch. Centre, right, left, it will work everywhere. And to give you Tom's tip... Where's that? <laughs> and to give you a bonus Tom tip, this is the one you need to learn. Skill move number five, the step over cancel. I have taught the step overs in a previous video before, so I don't want to make this too long here. But to do a step over, you basically rotate the right stick to either 12 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9, or 9 to 12, whatever way. You can do it anti-clockwise as well, actually. So, and then wherever your left stick is where you exit. If you want a more in-depth explanation on that step overs, then check that video out. But we're going to take the step overs to the next level and we're going to cancel them. Now, you can do step overs with two star skillers or above. So basically anyone on the game. And all you're going to do is a step over like we mentioned and then hold R2 and L2 as you do it and your left stick is where you're gonna exit on the cancel. This is definitely the hardest skill move out of the five, so make sure you're watching carefully. First example I'm gonna use is from a hashtag house video. So this is me playing weekend league with the boys. You see I've got the ball on the edge of the box with Modric, and he is gonna predict that I'm gonna go straight line with my step overs. Now watch the way he overcommits with his defender. You see, just there, he's expecting me to go all the way. I've cancelled it and exited using the left stick to push me out the other way, and it's absolutely sold him a dream. He is gone. Oh, the step over cancel. That's gonna make him quit. The second example is with Mbappe. We have the ball on the left side, and he's expecting more straight line step overs, but I managed to cancel it. So I've step over straight. I've then held L2 and R2 and moved my left stick to the direction I want to exit in, and you can tell I've just sold him an absolute dream again. They always overcommit thinking that you're going to do a step over, and then if you can cancel out of that, you'll manage to dummy it every time. What I'd advise when doing the step over cancel is to always turn the left stick to either the left or the right and make sure you exit in a different direction because there's no point cancel it in a straight line. I think it's best when you can kind of like turn back and move the other way, and a quick turn of direction will change everything. So make sure you're doing that and make sure you're practicing them because this one's hard. Let's summarize the step over cancels. You can do this with a two star skiller or above. Firstly, make sure you've got the step overs locked down and then start canceling them. You can do the step over cancels anywhere on the pitch, but just like any other skill move, I'd recommend to do it in the attacking third. And to make the cancel as effective as possible, make sure your left stick exits in a different way to what way you're doing the step overs. They are the five skill moves that pro players won't tell you about that you now know about. So let me know in the comments if you found them useful and I'll see you soon.